Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our Swiss chocolate run here. And I have gone away and done some research, uh, looked up a couple things online, couldn't find anything I really liked, and then I found exactly what I was looking for from another YouTuber named Scroft, I think is their name, S-C-R-O-F-T. Um, they have done a lot of research about cows and their values and the milk they produce. Uh, they've also done research on uh, beef cows as well, which is really good. And I actually thought there was some good information there too. But um, milk cows for sure uh, were the ones that I obviously applied to me. And one of the things that they um, figured out is that each cow every year that it's able to, or sorry, uh, yeah, every year that it's able to, a cow produces 1800 liters of milk in over the course of that year. So that's starting at age 12, I think it is, right? when they start producing milk um 12 months i should say they can produce 1800 liters in a year every single cow now starting at 18 months they can start reproducing uh and they reproduce every nine months after that so some good information there um so really if you wanted to cycle your cows based on the reproduction and basically you know based on when you're going to get new cows in you would want to cycle them every effectively every nine months right um because at nine months well, it'd be a little off, and the reason it would be a little off is because um, when cows are born, I think they start out at zero months. So I guess it'd be almost like 10 months because unless you had another cow pin that you can kind of temporarily shove them off to. Uh, and the reason I say that is because if I want to sell enough cows to make room for the nine cows that are going to grow, or, you know, say 10 cows that are going to grow next month, I would need to sell them the month before, which means I'm off my cycle a little bit. So there's a little bit of nuance, a little bit of weirdness there. But effectively, you could sell cows every nine months. And then the reason why the prices are different here is because 36 months is the sweet spot for selling a cow. Anything past 36 months, they start losing a value. And the reason 36 months is better a sweet spot than, say, eight, uh, 31 months like we're looking at here, this price will not go up over the next five months. 1500 bucks is the maximum price you will get. But these cows will produce here in five months. And so if I wanted them to reproduce again before I sold them off, then that 36 month is that sweet spot of they just reproduced and then I can sell them. And then anything after that, they start degrading in price. Uh, so obviously these are older uh, and they're just going to start going down in price, I guess, month after month. And now effectively these cows will live forever. I think I don't think there's any point where these cows actually die in game, but their price will just basically go away. So that's something to think about as well. Um, so all that said and done, um, our cows currently produce more milk than we can handle. Uh, if you were going to sell only the milk, then selling the cows and losing a few months of milk production from a few of the cows, you know, selling the cows and cycling through them, I should say, like don't sell all your cows, but sell, sell a subset of your cows to make room for the reproductions uh, is more profitable if you're just doing the milk and stuff like that. Now, if you're doing cheese and butter, it becomes less profitable necessarily, but still potentially a good idea because it's just free you know, money that you're getting in from the new cows um, to some degree. I mean, obviously you got to feed them, but um, the other thing I will say is that it is more profitable to sell cows on a hard mode map than it is on a medium or an easy mode map because the crops are lower price on hard mode. The cow sale price is identical as from what I can tell between medium and hard mode. I didn't look at easy, but between medium and hard mode, they're identical prices. So there is no disadvantage to selling cows on on hard, like it's less of a disadvantage to sell cows on hard because your price of a cow versus the price that it would make versus, you know, of cheese, for example, um, it's, it's better for, for you on hard mode. So, um, what else? So anyway, all that being said, um, what I think I want to try and start doing is selling basically 10 cows every nine months effectively. Although again, not really having a plan. Is there, what's the cheapest? cow pen because i just need a place to sh shove them for like a minute like one month is all i that would they'd be in there for uh 15 75 000 bucks for a 15 cow pasture um which you know obviously we don't have a space for it right now but something like that would be good because um if we could shove these off to a little little corner uh basically move the ones that are either about to reproduce or or whatever off to that other corner so that they reproduce in that corner then that would actually mean that we don't have to worry about that overflow that, that overlap um, we have a bunch of cows are about to reproduce here in, in a month, right? 
And these are going to reset at 100%. Really, what I want to do is I want to go one more month and see what these do. I forgot we had some at 49 months. Goodness. Um, and, and my cycle, what I, like I said, my cycle would be basically a quarter of your cows sell every month or sell every nine months to sell a quarter of your cows. Now, we're at 45 cows in this cow past year, which is a little bit of an odd number. I could do 11, which would be a quarter would be, you know, be 44. And I just have one cow sitting there making milk the entire time and just grown to a thousand years old. But I think what I might do is just sell 10 at a time and just leave five cows off to the side. Just who cares how old they get type of thing. Um, and something of that nature. So that's, that's going to be my plan for if I want to sell cows to try and cycle through them a little bit, but I want to wait until let's say these 18 maybe are ready to reproduce because I want to get back into that. I only want four subsets of cows. I want four sets of 10 cows each because right now I have a whole bunch of scattered cows and I want to get it down to like four sets of cow 10 cows each. And that's the plan at least. Technically I could, well, what I could also do is just go ahead and sell some now in anticipation of these four cows reproducing and then just buy the remaining six cows to fill in the gap um, because they would all start at zero months. And then I'd be on a good cycle with that set of cows for, to, to be fair. But I think I would just want to say, wait, the first first one gets to 10 and we'll see where it goes from there. Maybe. I don't know. Something to think about. Um, yeah, I just need to figure out what I'm going to do with the extra cows. Like wh wh where are they going to go? Now, here's another piece of information. If you're just selling cows to sell for, for meat, basically, or whatever, you're selling them off um, because of, you know, the value of the cow itself, it does not matter if you sell, give it TMR or if you give it just hay. There is zero difference between the TMR and the hay. They both they both grow at the same rate of, of, of value. The only difference the TMR makes over the hay is that it produces more milk, um, slurry, and manure. So... For beef cows, there's honestly no reason to feed beef cows TMR unless you really needed the, this manure and the slurry. If you don't care about the manure and the slurry, just just feed them hay. Um, now, for milk cows, you want to give them the TMR because you want the milk. They do produce less milk with uh, hay over TMR. So some pieces of information. Um, so I really want to sell some cows. I do want to sell some cows. Now, I looked at the price of the uh, the equipment over here. I mean, there is a animal transport that holds six cows which wasn't, isn't too badly priced, but it would take us, if I were selling 10 cows at a time, then that's a thousand dollars. It would cost me to just have the computer ship them for me. And it would take me 25 cycles before I paid this one off. Um, now this one again, is not even good enough to take all 10 cows at once. I'd have to take two trips. But yeah. 25 cycles is a lot, which 25 cycles at nine months. You know, it's a little bit less to be fair, but um, it's still what, like, uh, kind of math. Math is uh, eighteen cycles, eight, eighteen years, eighteen something like that. Because um, twenty four would be, would be it would be eighteen, but twenty five would be a little bit more than eighteen. So eighteen years basically before I paid that thing off. I don't know if that's worth it right now. Eventually, maybe, but not not right now. Um. So I need to figure out what we're gonna do with our cows. I want to get a cycle of 10 going pretty soon here. So how do I want to go about doing that? Really, I think my first thing would be, would be to experiment and see if my assumption is correct that there's not like a, it goes to a hundred percent and I have time to sell some cows. I don't think that is. I think these four cows will just cycle back over at zero, but I want to check that. Um, so that's, that's what we're going to do. Uh, and my next set of cows that I could sell off would be, uh, these are here in a couple months. So that might be the best move. Um, so what do we got to do right now? We got our grass, uh, is ready to roll. Uh, it does need fertilizer. Really? Normally you don't have to fertilize your grass, but obviously we're doing a different. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's fertilize our grass then. Cause I... I guess we'll see. Um, I assume this will fertilize it to the right level. Pre precision farming, you didn't have to fertilize your grass after the first cycle because rolling it counted as a fertilization. I actually got a fertilizer right here. So let me just drop this off back here somewhere. Did you not unload? Where are you going loading? 
Why are you not unloading? Oh, because I'm unloading the wrong one. Maybe? No? You just don't have space to unload? Why are you not unloading? I'm so confused why this sprayer is not unloading. I'm going to come out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, where's a good spot? <laughs> I'm trying to find a spot to, like, park so I can unload this. Then I know there's space on both sides. I'm very confused why this is not unloading. Which piece is it that's got the stuff? It's the front. There we go. Did I hit the wrong button? Maybe I was hitting the wrong button. Maybe I was just being dumb. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past me. Once we get this fertilized up, we will be done for the month. I went ahead and just, I didn't do this fertilizing contracts, which I could still do, but uh, we're already done with our fields at this point, other than, well, fertilizing our fields. Um, so I don't really feel the need to fertilize other people's fields right now because I don't have anything else to do on my own stuff. So yeah, this is not going to run, is it? Is it? I don't think it's doing anything. I don't think you, I, so like I said, I don't think you do the grass. I mean, it did apply fertilizer. Are you kidding me? It's saying more yield from the fertilizer, but it's not letting me do it automatically because it doesn't think it needs to do it. That is so weird. I mean, it's fine. I'll do it, but it's just, it's a little strange and I can't even see it. But I can see it on the mini map. <laughs> it's so weird. All right, whatever. So it does need to be fertilized, but it also doesn't need to be fertilized. Strange. It's okay. We'll get it done. Even if I don't get it all, just because I can't see it quite perfectly, we'll still get some value out of it. Well, presumably, if what I'm seeing in the bottom left-hand corner is correct. Although, to be fair, doesn't it let me fertilize soybeans even when it doesn't need it to like it's like a weird thing like that too so maybe this actually is not going to work the way i want it to Go all the way across. Since we're already on a pretty good line. Had GPS on this tractor, it'd be a lot easier to do. Mm, not quite lined up, am I? Really need to figure out what... I guess I could have done, done slurry out in these fields. But... I really need to figure out what I'm going to do with all of our slurry. It's just not worth that much money. I 
I have to come back and do another row here in a minute. I don't want to underlap it, so I'm just going to overlap more than I probably should, but it is what it is. But yeah, um, I mean, we get something for the slurry, to be fair. It's not like we get nothing. But it's almost not really worth the trip at the same time, though. That's that's the thing. Is it even worth the leasing cost to drop off 56,000 liters of slurry? I don't know that it is. You know? I'll make sure what look at that i did three rows and it's doing the far row <laughs> what i'm assuming that's just graphical <laughs> that's so funny uh, i wanted to make it a little bit wider than just the tractor the tractor's probably just enough but i was like oh let's just be safe it's not that much more fertilizer make sure we're not missing like a little tiny sliver oh i forgot to turn it off while i was there talking that's uh, you know sometimes you just gotta fertilize your gravel you know how else do you, where do roads come from? You got to grow them, right? All right, that's all fertilized up again. Not actually sure if it's going to make a difference, but why not? I mean, it does say optimal grass uh, level for grass, so. I mean, it knows that there is an optimal nitrogen level for grass, which means, which tells me that this should be fine. I was hitting the unload here button, not the unload button. That was my problem. What is unload here? Is that even a thing for this particular machine? I don't know if I've used unload here before. All right, we do still have a little bit of maintenance to do on the cows, like I said. So um, I don't remember if the slurry being capped out lowers or affects their health at all or other other production. I, I really just don't know. I mean, in theory, if your slurry thing is completely full and you can't empty out the slurry the cows are making, that's not a healthy situation under most circumstances, but I'm not sure if it's actually like, you know, part of the game. Manure we're fine on, obviously. We've got a big, big place for all the manure. We can just kind of ignore that for now. Uh, okay, so 36,000... Sorry, 36 bucks per liter. 3,000 liters. And we have 56. I think I already did this math once, didn't I? So 56 times 36. It's 2,000 bucks. Technically, if I can lease a big enough vehicle for less than 2,000 bucks, it is borderline worth just transporting all this. I mean, the big vehicles are quite expensive. 
I could probably get by with one that's half size that does like half of it. It's like a 30,000 liter. Ah, that's, no, there's no way that's going to be better. Oh, isn't there just transports though? Where's just the transports? These are just the transports. This would take three trips, which is not that bad, but it's 2,600 bucks. So I make 2,000 bucks to, you know, at least for 2,600 bucks to make 2,000 bucks. Even this one, I make a hundred bucks basically when it's all said and done to get the opportunity to transport four times. I don't think that's worth it. <laughs> I could be wrong guys, but I don't think that's worth it. So we're going to see what happens if the cows mix up, fill up on slurry, which are they filled up right now? They might actually just be filled up right now. They do need more TMR. I mean, I think they'd be good for another month, but we we'll might as well top them off if we can. Good thing we got more silage coming because we are getting low. <laughs> Come on. All right, well, just the silage. There we go. I like how it just, right as it gets just past the percentage, which it just barely does, of enough silage to make it TMR, it changes colors. Uh, straw will be good for a little bit longer. So honestly, I think we'll just fill this up out of this trailer and then we'll fast forward a month and kind of see where we're at. This will be enough TMR for a little bit because there's a couple things I want to I want to be checking, right? I want to see what happens if the slurry caps out. I also want to see what happens 
Um, which the Solari might have been capped out for a while now, and I just hadn't paid attention. But I'm going to see what happens when these guys hit one more month, which I assume it's going to roll over, but we will double check that. So, in fact, I'm actually going to write these down just because I want to see if the slurry does make a difference. I, I won't notice it right away. Um, I don't know what it would make a difference in, but I'm just going to write down these pre productions. This is puberty at 50, which, you know, it could disrupt that. Who knows? I doubt it. Now, if we stop feeding them, I know that the reproduction stops, right? But the actual, uh, you know, slurry, I don't know. All right. Anything else we got to do today? I don't think so. Uh, we probably need to look at our lease equipment. Do we want to keep this all? Uh, we can get rid of this because we're not going to need anything in for quite a while. I do like that thing a lot. That's, that is definitely a great investment. The mower we're going to need again here in a couple months. We're just going to keep the mower for now. We'll, we'll buy it someday. And that's that. Actually, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, we will be fast forwarding to a new month, finally. I know I went through a lot of stuff today as far as just information and things, but next next episode starts off as this new month, and we'll start seeing what we're going to be doing with our cows based on kind of some of the data we collect. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.